Walmart CEO Doug McMillan says suppliers are telling the world's largest retailer that prices will remain elevated and especially for those two particular staples for the near term. And Walmart is adjusting their inventory based on inflation and a slowdown in consumer spending. Now, this will all make sense to you guys in just a moment as we dive into this more in this video and discuss changes that I have been predicting to happen for the last several months now as we draw to a close for this holiday shopping season and begin the new year. Folks, tell your family to prepare. Walmart is about to drop a huge bomb, while at the same time the mega retailer is stating grocery store shelves will experience continued high prices and price increases and inflation for some time. Slashing jobs and rising food prices what's to be expected in our immediate future and most importantly how to prepare for what comes next folks please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can receive these important and breaking news updates as soon as they are released on this channel please give this video a like and comment down below i would appreciate it really would i would also really like to know if you think higher prices and increased inflation and job loss affecting retail workers and employees like those at walmart will have any impact on your day-to-day -day lives thank you in advance for your participation all right so now walmart has begun its launch of unmanned drone delivery in multiple markets across the country and this is only just the beginning of their business model evolution which helps answer questions that i have received like these. Kevin, how can big chain stores actually lower their food prices regardless of what thieves rob them of and more? So be sure to stick around so you can hear the answer to that question. Also, a viewer left a comment on a previous video that opened my eyes to a simple and easy passive income stream that we should all know about. Now, if you want to begin to start creating your passive income stream as a beginner and would like my help, please feel free Join the network for exclusive information and content. That link is down in the description. And many of the members that have joined and are also new investors are asking for more information on how to further build wealth now that they have begun to start investing and taking the first steps in building an investment portfolio. So The Motley Fool lists six steps for beginners who are interested in learning how they can invest. Number one. Buy 25 or more companies over time. Two, hold stocks for five or more years. Three, add new savings regularly. Four, hold through market volatility. And five, let your winners run. Six, target long-term returns. And if you would like to take a deeper dive into investments, my own personal investments, and other wealth building, passive income producing opportunities, again, feel free to contact me directly. Links in the description. So I received a comment on a previous video upload where I explained how a young woman and her husband both worked and contributed to create a dual income household while bringing in multiple and diverse income streams on the side. The wife previously worked at Target as well as Amazon and currently works at Walmart. Meanwhile, the husband works for the railroad union and is employed by CSX. There were several amazing and valuable pieces of information shared throughout the entire video with a shocking ending. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I suggest you do go check it out after you're done watching this one. They even did something very shocking and amazing with the stimulus checks they received that really helped boost their financial stability and help build a solid foundation for wealth building success. Similar to the five ways to prepare, go watch that video too, very short and to the point of the five easiest ways to prepare before it is too late. And the best part about it all is if you follow the five easy steps, they work every time. Now, the comment I received said, I so love your sound investment opportunities. However, I wish you could teach me how to reach out to businesses like big chain stores on how they can actually lower their food prices regardless of what thieves rob them of and more. And in order to truly understand where this comment is coming from, it is important that you watch the video that explains what Walmart CEO Doug McMillan has warned us all of and 
plans to do to prevent the viral rash of thefts and wave of shoplifting and internal theft and shrink that is negatively affecting their business bottom line. Reason being, the loss of inventory, destruction of property, employee theft, and every other money losing component to operating a successful business have to be prevented or eliminated. And so the simple answer to the question asked in the comment is to apply a few basic changes to an old business model that shape and mold the business for the future. These include more online shopping, less physical and human workers, and the adaptation of more technology and AI like drone delivery. How do you lower sale prices? Well, that's easy, lower costs. How do you lower costs? Another easy answer, eliminate your most costly operating expense. And folks, that means fire, terminate, lay off, and age out employees, and most importantly, do not bring them back. And this is what Walmart is planning to do, in my opinion. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan has made numerous statements recently about the new direction that the company is heading, and Walmart is investing in supply chain technology to increase the speed of e-commerce and delivery. So retail sales slumped through the latest data on consumer prices and clearly showed a cooling from consumer spending. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan says the Retail giant is managing for inflation and a slowdown in consumer demand that extends into 2023. And the economic conditions are changing what shoppers will see in stores. Possibly more than likely less employees and more technology as the company continues to shift and evolve. Grocery sales, which were responsible for 56% of Walmart's revenue, is a key inflation read for CEO McMillan and the company. McMillan said in an exclusive interview with CNBC at the Hope Global Forum in Atlanta, we're managing this item by item, category by category, and we have a plan and adjusted ours to be ready for this next year. McMillan's comments came after November CPI report that showed consumer prices rose over 7% percent year over year. And while food prices remain elevated, rising over 10 and a half percent year over year, grocery sales require more regular shipments than general merchandise and trucking prices are also elevated approximately 35 percent higher year to date. So according to McMillan, what we're seeing is that if you take the fresh food categories, commodities, things like proteins, things are starting to move. Chicken right now is more expensive, but beef is down. Fruit and vegetables is in pretty good shape, but dry groceries, consumables is where we're seeing the most stubborn and persistent inflation, mid double digit inflation at that. And we're not hearing from our suppliers looking forward that's going to be coming down soon. McMillan said Walmart is continuing to look for new technology to maintain inventory and increase the speed of its e-commerce business. That includes a commitment to purchase thousands of delivery EVs from General Motors subsidiary Bright Drop and Canoe. The opening of next-gen fulfillment centers that use automation and artificial intelligence and the acquisition of robotic startup alert innovations. So for those who are truly following along, you can understand how this means less and less employees on the Walmart store floors and more computers, more technology, more engineers, and more 1099 contracted technicians on working on the bots and droids behind the scenes. McMillan said, there's so much that's possible today with technology, whether it's the way we use data, the way we put smarter algorithms to work, or the way we deploy automation through our supply chain, there are a lot of changes coming in distribution centers, fulfillment centers, last mile with EVs, electric vehicles, and delivery. Truly groundbreaking and continuously evolving stuff going on with business, retailers, technology, the supply chain, jobs, and how life as we know it will forever be changed in what almost seems like a blink of an eye. Now, coming up next, Bill Gates is having another meeting in Belgium for the next possible pandemic. Apparently, it's going to start around 2025 in Brazil. A subscriber sent me some very interesting information about those P42 diesel locomotives that I want to share with you all. And a shocking new crisis is developing that will affect everybody in as little as one to two weeks. 
urgent warning that I just came across from a recent release that may be deleted soon. So I got to get on that one pretty quickly before it is too late. Until next time, folks, take care. Be safe.